हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द किटाइन नॉर्मली एन एटम कंटेन्स प्रोटोन न्यूट्रॉन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स न्यूट्रॉन इज हैविंग द नो चार्ज प्रोटोन इज हैविंग द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर हैविंग द नेगेटिवली चार्ज एन एटम इज कॉल्ड टू बी न्यूट्रल व्हेन एवर देयर इज इक्वल नंबर ऑफ प्रोटोन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन इफ देयर इज एन लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इट मींस द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बिकम लेस देन दैट ऑफ नॉर्मल एटम एंड द प्रोटोन रिमेन द सेम when we count the number of electrons become less and the pro- number of proton remain the same so overall what we say we say electron now decreases as compared to proton the quantity of proton is increases as compared to the number of electrons whenever this situation arises we call there is a formation of positive ion we call as cation similarly if an atom gains electron it will have more number of electrons as compared to the protons so when we count what we say the number of electrons become more as compared to the number of proton so we say the number of proton become decreased and the electrons increased in counting so more number of electrons it means an atom will get a negatively charged called as a nine called as a nine when for example if an sodium loses its one electron then it will achieve a unit positive charge then it means cation is having their single positive charge if an atom loses two electrons then the cation positive ion formed has two positive charge here i have given the example of magnesium atom magnesium atom can lose two electrons to form a magnesium ion having two unit positive charge and if an atom loses 3 electrons then cation positive ion formed has 3 unit positively charge here aluminum can lose 3 electrons to form an aluminum ion it is having the 3 unit positive charge it is however usually not possible to lose electron more than 3 because a very high amount of energy is required to for this purpose another point to be noted that the electron lost by the metal during the formation of a cation this electron will accepted by a non metal which turns into the anion this is whole about the cation thank you for the lecture